Hey guys, welcome back to Mac Farms. We're here working at the 1394 project today and we're tackling the few little jobs we have left here um, before we can shove the tractor back together. In the last video, I believe we put the uh, turbo and manifold and everything on, which didn't really need to have to be done. I just kind of wanted to do it. Um, but the video before that, we did put the clutch back on, which did have to be done. So we got a few little things left to do. There's a shaft that goes across there with a fork on it. Um, I think that one, yeah, you can hardly see, but that one's still under there, so we don't have to deal with that. Um, that's going to go back on later. But we also have these here. This is our throwout bearing assembly. And we have new bearings somewhere in this shop um, to replace these ones. So we're going to take this assembly apart today and replace these uh, bearings. So then that part of it will be ready to go when we slide the tractor back together. I did do a few things kind of off camera. Uh, in the meantime, you can probably see. Let me grab my light, actually, my work light. Oh, yeah. Rip that right out of the wall, plugged in there. All right, so if we come down here, you guys can all see, that's the front of the drop box for the four wheel drive. Now, I replaced the uh, seal and gasket on that front cover the other day. So that's done. It's still a little greasy and wet and stuff there because I never cleaned anything up. I just put the new gasket on, a new seal. So we got that done. Um, we still got a few other little things to do that can wait till after the tractor slid back together. We're gonna clean up the uh, drive shaft and we're gonna have to clean up, <clears throat> we're gonna have to clean up the hydraulic lines and stuff that kind of connect the back to the front. So we still have that stuff to do, but that stuff can wait till after the tractor's back together. Right now we're going to work at that throw bearing assembly that goes on the uh, input shaft there. So we still got the tool sitting in here, though I don't think it really needs to be there. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let's go check out those uh, bearings, I guess. All right, so here's the old assembly. I just have it sitting in this cardboard box. Um, but it's quite dirty, as you guys can tell. And this is where our grease fitting attaches to inside. When we get it back on, it'll stay there maybe. But we got uh, some new bearings. I believe this is the one that's sticking out right here. Looks to be it. So that's, that's that one. And we got this one in the box, which must be one that goes inside. It's a fair size bearing. So these are just spare X bearings. I bought them through uh, David Brown parts, which yeah, if I I shouldn't say anything bad about them, but if I had it over, I would have just ordered the parts local because I can get spare X here just the same. Um, I don't have to go through the UK to get spare X parts. So. Anyway, well, I guess we'll, uh, I think this just slides apart. Well, maybe not. I thought it did. Must have been my imagination. Anyway, we got to try and clean this thing up, so I'll get back at you here when we get this cleaned up. And it's going to be pretty greasy. All right, I got it all cleaned up. Well, as clean as it's going to get anyway. I used mineral spirits and degreaser and whatever else. You can hear that bearing. Not the greatest. This one here isn't too bad. That one there is not very good though. So anyway, uh, I'm guessing that this one just pulls off of the end. And this one looks like there's some sort of a retainer here. So we'll remove this retainer and see where that gets us.
that finally moved on the thing like I thought it did. Well then, I was right. I was sure that moved that whole time before and then I couldn't get it to move. It must have just been stuck a little bit. Oh, I guess I've gotten better than this piece of garbage. All right, these ones are a little bit bigger. shield on there. Maybe this bearing is going to go first. I'm starting to get the idea. Maybe we can just tap it off the end. This here won't come off until this bearing comes off this inside part. I'm not sure. I might have to put that in the vise and tap it. I don't think I can do it freehand like the last one. Might be able to tap on that a little bit. Not too much. Get a softer hammer. All right, I'll see what I come up with here. All right, so I got all these things apart here. This part's of the clutch. Everything came apart pretty easily. There's the old bearing, which doesn't seem to be in too bad of shape. Excel, made in India. Excel 5.3. I don't know if that's original or not, no idea. But anyway, we got new ones to replace those ones. And uh, just gotta clean up this stuff a bit more. And we'll be ready for reassembly in the next clip when I'll have my light, no doubt. Well guys, I got everything cleaned up here. Um, everything looks pretty good. I got nothing really to complain about. Except for that's not even in focus. Come on now. Come on now, Canon. Still not cooperating. There we go. Everything looks pretty good. These here. Shields are a little bent up, but not, not in any way it's going to affect it. The only thing is this here. Um, this would be the carrier it's called and there's a bit of wear on it maybe you guys can see a little bit on this side but it's a bit heavier on this side so I'm not sure if that's going to affect it or not I have to do a little bit of research and uh, get back to you on that morning guys uh, in the last video we put that clutch on so I've been busy kind of working on some other little stuff and we did get the uh, bearings, release bearings, throw bearings uh, installed here. As you can tell, it's a little bit bright, but we'll deal with that in a minute. 
So anyway, I got to finish assembling that. We're going to put that onto the tractor and some other stuff. So we're getting ready basically to put the tractor back together. I'm not sure what's going to be in this video, but we're going to try for it anyway. Um, I did put the lines and stuff on and yeah, focus, be good. I put the lines and stuff on for the hydraulic pump. So that's all ready to go when we slide the tractor uh, back together. And uh, yeah, so just picking away at little stuff here. I was waiting on a bearing. I got that yesterday. Like I said, I put this in here. Um, it was this bearing right, right there. There's a shield over it. Let me see if I can find another one. I bought two by mistake, so. That bearing went in there. I was waiting for that. That bearing is new too. So I have a few clips I did yesterday doing that. So I'll insert those now. And we'll pick up back here. Um, where we'll install them on that main shaft. Kind of coming into the transmission there. Hey guys, I forgot my uh, big camera. But we're going to assemble this release bearing assembly. So I got a big bearing that goes over this here. I got it in the... the uh, what do you call it? Oven thing there now. So we're going to heat it up, slide it over, then we're going to heat this up and slide that over. Uh, we have to try to remember to put one of these on. I'm not sure which one. Though. This one, I believe. First, otherwise we'll be screwed. Yeah, this one goes on this side. I'm quite sure. So, anyway, that's what we're doing. So wait for that bearing to heat up. Alright, I'm all set up here. I'm just going to slide that release bearing assembly onto the shaft there. I think we're, I think we're all ready to go. The lighting is kind of poor. The light's shining in the front windows in the shop here. So anyway, we'll make the best of it. That's on. Right now we're gonna have to connect, I believe, this grease fitting. Reach in there somehow and do that. It just goes on the back of the uh, bearing there. I might purge this shitty unknown grease out of it though. 
and uh, get some good fresh stuff to go in there. I'm gonna grab a grease gun and do that. I had to put a cardboard box in the window that time to block this on. I actually was thinking ahead the other day, I put a brand new grease circ on there. Oh yeah, I can see it spitting out. Not very nice looking grease. We'll just keep pumping this until we see the nice blue Swepco grease come out. All right, we got the new bearing, uh, throat bearing, release bearing on. And I purged that line, so we're just gonna connect it there off camera because it's gonna be impossible to show you anyway. And then I'm gonna think for a little while to see if I can come up with a reason why the tractor shouldn't be in two pieces still. And if I can't think of anything, then we'll slide it together. Well, as far as I know, the tractor is ready to go back together. Uh, maybe some surprises along the way, but it's going to be interesting trying to get the uh, clutch fork, which is right, right there. I don't know if you can see it in the shot or not. I guess you can't. <laughs> anyway, the clutch fork that's on the front half of the tractor has to line up with the release bearing, so I'm not sure how we're going to work that situation, but we'll figure something out. Um, and uh, yeah. I'm going to leave the front drive shaft off that goes from the drop box to the front axle because the front axle is going to come out of here anyway later on. So we don't really need to bother with that, I don't think. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of move some of that wiring and stuff out of the way right quick. And I'll just set the camera up here and, and just let it play out. Uh, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> dark out so I worked at this a little bit more this afternoon let me know stuff to do but anyway I just finished sliding it together uh, messing with that clutch was a pain 
it's easier what well the idea is you have that cover off right here this uh this cover with the tag on it that comes off if you have the cab off i don't have the cab off obviously so i couldn't take that off or eh, just just the way i blocked up the cab i couldn't take it off basically if i had I had the blocks a little bit further back i could have took taken that off moving a little bit easier but still then you're trying to reach in under there but anyway uh we got it um everything the forks are all lined up with the clutch levers and everything the uh the uh release bearings and the clutch fork so everything slid together all right this here line i'm not really sure what's going on with that i ran into it when it was apart and bent it but it's got to go like in there so i gotta fix that and figure out what's going on there so it's just a matter of reconnecting some hoses and stuff and anyway the difficult part is done so she's back together anyways guys this is gonna be the conclusion of this video but i promise you guys in the next one we're gonna see this tractor start up maybe not drive out of here but definitely start so we'll see you in the next one well it's the next afternoon we're here the tractor doesn't look a whole lot different than it did yesterday uh when i left off the video however I realized this morning that I actually put this uh, clutch shaft with the lever on it in the wrong way. The lever, I had it pointing down on this side, and it's actually supposed to be on the other side of the tractor. And of course that shaft goes through the shift fork and everything on the shift fork, but the clutch fork for the PTO uh, rope bearing. And, uh, yeah, that was a really fun time trying to replace that. Um, long story short, I had to split the tractor again, which wasn't a big deal. I mean, it was just, it was just sitting here together. Uh, so I had to roll it back apart again a little bit, just enough to get my hand in there. And I had to pull this shaft all the way out, flip it on the other side and stick it back in, which... I mean, it doesn't sound that complicated, I guess, when I talk about it, but it did take me all morning. So, anyway, we're back where we started now, and I'm just working on other stuff uh, along with the tractor. So, just wanted to fit that in there so you guys can have a bit of a laugh at my expense. So, anyway, I'll continue on.